This is an example showing you how to use the Windows 7 calculator to uh, do some basic statistical calculations for you. The first thing, of course, you have to have Windows 7. If you go to the Start menu and find the calculator, when you first bring it up, it may or may not be in the right mode, but to do the statistical things that we want to do, you have to go to the View menu and change it, if it's not already there, into the Statistics mode and the calculator looks so. What I want to use to illustrate this here is the following. It says for the following set of numbers find the mean and standard deviation. The numbers are 14, 16, 27, 12, 27, 17, and 13. And we're going to do this with the Windows 7 calculator. The first step is from the Windows 7 calculator view menu choose the statistics mode. We've already done that. Once you have that up, then you want to enter the first number, which happens to be 14, and click the Add button, which is in the lower right-hand corner of the calculator. You'll notice that the number 14 pops up into the upper part of the window. Then you simply repeat that procedure for each number, being sure to click Add after each one. So the next number is 16, click Add. Then you have 27, click Add. Then you have 12, click Add. Then you have 27, click Add. Then you have 17, click Add. Then you have 13, click Add. Now there's some double checks you can, can do to make sure you've gotten this right. First of all, there's a count, 7. And so you see that you really do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You do have 7 numbers, so that part is right. You can also scroll up and down and actually recheck the numbers to make sure they're all correct. You don't want to miss a problem simply because you entered a number correctly or you skipped one or you entered one twice when you shouldn't have. Once all those numbers are entered and you've double checked to make sure they're correct, then you simply click the X bar symbol on the calculator, the button, which is to the right of the number 9. And you'll find out that the mean of those seven numbers is 18. We were also asked to find the standard deviation. Simple enough, you don't have to re-enter the numbers, simply go to the button as we discussed, it's sigma n sub n minus 1, it's the button right above the add button, and the main window will then give you your standard deviation. I didn't really ask you to give it to any certain number of decimal places, but let's suppose I wanted to give it to four decimal places, and that answer would be 6.3770 to four decimal places.